best way to visualise molecular shapes is to look at models of them, or better still, to make your own models. Some cocktail sticks, straws, cake decoration, plasticine, some snips, probably that's all you need. Roll the plasticine into little balls and cut the cocktail sticks in half. Stick the cocktail sticks into the plasticine balls. Cut some pieces of straw so that they will cover the cocktail sticks. Do the same to any other atoms that are needed. Slide the straw over the cocktail sticks. Insert the other atoms and you have an assembled molecule. Here's a model of methane I made. The bond angle is 109 degrees. The bonds repel each other, and this will fit into a tetrahedron, so we call it a tetrahedral shape. The nitrogen in ammonia has a lone pair of electrons. These repel more strongly than the bonded electrons, so the bond angle is reduced to 107 degrees. We call this shape triangular pyramidal. For water, there are two lone pairs of electrons, so the bond angle is reduced further to approximately 105 degrees. Here's carbon dioxide. It's a linear molecule. This is methanol. You see how the double bond has the same repelling effect as the single bonds. So the angle at the center is 120 degrees. It's a planar molecule. This is ethene. The same applies here. The double bond has the same repelling effect as the single bonds. So the angles at each end are 120 degrees. Again, it's a planar molecule. Sulfur hexafluoride. Six outer atoms. This will fit into an octahedron, so we call it octahedral, and the bond angles are all 90 degrees.